Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model a 10 story steel structure in SAP software and perform a, a time history analysis. So here is the when we get new model and we can see some uh, template here. So I can use for convenience, I can use uh, uh, 3D frames. Uh, just 3D frames and I'm going to give the number of stories 10 and the number of pages in X direction 5 and the Y direction is also 5. The story height is typical 3 meters, the weight is about 6 meters. So I can uh, quickly draw a column uh, that should be box column using this box column and the size should be uh, 50 by 50 and this should be uh, something the flange 0. Point. Uh, actually it's quite the same we can give take it uh, 0. 0.20 which is almost uh, 20 millimeters and the wave is also 0. 0.0, 0. 0 to uh, still is if you y uh, 15 so you can column uh, columns okay and next is the beam beam is going to use uh, i section that's called beams uh, the this is t30 which is uh, the height of the structure, height of the beam, which is be about uh, 60 millimeters, 60 centimeters, or 0 0.5 meters, and the uh, uh, weight is about 50 centimeters. So the flange is 0 0.020, uh, and the wave is 0 0.015. Uh, and uh, this uh, flange, bottom flange is same with top flange. Control. And sorry, this is uh, the uh, this bottom flange width, which is uh, about fifty. And the thickness is here 0 0.0, uh, 0 0.020. So the wave is 50 millimeters. So we are done and uh, okay. Now we can go to select beams and select columns. Okay. Now for uh, the performing. Uh, a time history analysis we uh, just uh, select the base and apply a boundary condition uh, let's see the boundary condition is fixed in the base uh, it's done uh, we don't want to apply any other uh, kind of loads and we quickly go to the uh load load cases uh for time history analysis it's required model analysis uh the model analysis uh should perform a ritz vector or eigenvector so i perform to use uh, eigenvector the number of modes should be 20 and at least should be one uh, i can select load patterns date uh, here acceleration uh, and one more in the y direction so other parameter is uh, default so the mass source is we take uh, the data load the entire data load uh, and uh, now uh, we can go to define uh, 
define a uh, function time history function uh, we can use cosines or uh, sine function also we can uh, bring the uh, from file which is already saved uh, had new function we should go to the browse and if we have any recorded uh, time histories here is time history some uh, predefined in the uh, directory set a sub 2000 directory uh, we can select here yeah. but if we don't uh, have any specific our specific we can select go to the pure ground motion database and download so i have another video you can check how we can download this data and how we can use it to the sub or sub or a type of uh, so i'm going to use uh, this new all uh, 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 this is the time history is uh, using we can view so this is line one line two line three should start and the time period is 0 0.20 second and mm, it's about 3000 point is 3000 point and uh, uh, the unit is centimeters per square second so i'm going to fix this one Uh, one more I, I am gonna see how many lines has per one uh, uh, we can uh, uh, just in case here uh, one two three four five six seven eight so this is called eight numbers per line this is one line and each line has ten num uh, eight number so I can give two it should escape it go to the three and this should be eight and the time Pay should be 0 0.02 second. Now we can display this is the uh, time history. So the total is about uh, 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 one uh, minute. I can call new all new all x, or you can uh, write north or east west. And another is also the same, uh, but this time I'm going to bring the uh, Y or uh, new all number two, the same for and here is 0 0.02. I'm going to see it's also one minute. I should make a modify that's this write the name. Oh, it's called new home, new home Y. Okay, so this is completed. Uh, we go to the back again to the define menus. Here, go to load cases, and we can add a new load case. So this time I can select uh, time history. Time history. Time history. Uh, from uh, load case tab, we can select time history, and from another tab, we can consider linear now. Linear. So for sample T, we take least time uh, linear, we're gonna linear, and uh, the solution should be model based. And here we can select uh, acceleration in U1. So modify and uh, this time is select here y n so here is model uh, uh, scale factor which we have centimeters but we using meters so it should be 0 0.01 uh, modify and it should be uh, 0 0.01 so how how we can get this this is here uh, we have centimeter one centimeter giving this number meter per square second So, and we have uh, about uh, 60 uh, uh, second calculator. Uh, I can have 60 divided by 0 0.02. So this is the time it requires 3000 
points and the step is 0.2 the model dumping we assume 5% inherent dumping and okay Okay, now uh, we are going to save our model. We can go to, sorry, is to be here. I'm going to use tennis to be still structure. Uh, time history. I can select this. Time history, yes. So now we can uh, perform the analysis. Uh, uh, the analysis uh, completed because it was linear. It it uh, uh, quickly solved. So uh, we just we have one error that's calling for. Yeah, so that, that that's the uh, model case uh, error, and that, that doesn't require anything. Now we can see from the that self load some deflection quite uh, less, and I can I can go to check millimeters during that uh, uh, self wait we can see this this node. Uh, let's see if we can get this. Uh, so th this point is about uh, in the z direction, about less than one millimeters. Uh, we can uh, go to the uh, 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 deformation and select uh, this one, and we can select some. Uh, uh, let's see about ten uh, seconds, and we can draw the graph and. Yeah, here is a deformation during a uh, time uh, period of 10 seconds. And if I go to uh, uh, go to uh, start animation and it's going to uh, animate. So this is the animation of that. Um, also, we can uh, create some uh, videos, uh, videos, and also we can display here. We call uh, uh, plot function. So from plot function, we can get uh, time histories. This point, uh, uh, if you want, you can select this point or any. So this is our uh, object uh, 66. I'm going to display uh, display and here is plot function. Uh, I can go to uh, define a plot and here is called joint displacement and here is add plot function. So we should give the ID number of that joint and here is acceleration and in which direction x z we both have we are not going to select x first and this is x and with another one so the same uh, but this time going to y direction so this is it okay and first we're gonna add the horizontal uh, function plot should be time and we can display this is it so we got uh, this uh, location uh, uh, these joints accelerations so we can uh, go to back remove this and put this one in a y direction this is the y direction so display this is y direction and also we can go to define and this time going to joint output uh, join displacement at plot and this time we're going to use the same area the same uh, uh, nodes uh, but we are going to use displacement 
from uh, we can uh, select absolute displacement or uh, but, uh, absolute acceleration to x direction and go to the same uh, this is y uh, y direction sorry you should give the 60s okay now we can go to this one is uh, bring this and this two is uh, the first one is this one is uh, x direction displacement and this is y okay now we can see the displacement uh, when the structure encountered this such kind of earth ground motion we will see this and the last one is uh, this is three and this is in y direction this direction so here the maximum displacement is 75 millimeters so, so uh, we are done if we want to uh, uh, create a video uh, but we have to save a let's see save a this plot function we can have it displacement or acceleration uh, remove i'm going to save it uh, let's see call it new set called acceleration acc uh, we uh, save and now we can go to uh, here create uh, a, a video file so create a video you can multi-step animation uh, we can okay uh, we can select here and select the same name and uh, show graph and starting zero and the time second be 0.20 which is so we can um, uh, magnify this uh, factor 10 and okay it takes time some time to create a video yeah here is good we can see it's better to see. And this is a video. Oh. And this is the beginning, and we can uh, reach to this large or uh, peak ground motion. Again, we can see large displacement. It take one minute. Now it's going to fall there and we can uh, obviously see the deformation. Yes. Yeah. The structure is shaking like an earthquake. So uh, we applied both directions. If, if we use three directions, that will be total realistic. Okay, we are done, and this is actually creating it after end, then the video will be created. So this is the end of uh, our tutorial. If there is any question regarding to time history analysis, then put in put your comment in the below description in the comment area. I will find time to answer your question. Uh, see you for next time.